Hi, hello everyone from Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Myself, Dr. Ambu Sodhanadi, Associate Professor and Head of the Department of Information Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about disjoint set operations. In this disjoint set operations, mainly I discuss about find and union algorithms. First, here, disjoint set operation. Disjoint set means Suppose you take two sets, A is one set, B is another set. Suppose A consists, consists of some elements 1, 2, 3, B consists of some elements 4, 5, 6. This B, A, A intersection B, A intersection means common elements. A and B don't have any common elements, so A intersection B equal to 5. Now here we we'll say that A and B are disjoint sets. Disjoint data structure is a data structure that keep track of a set of elements partition into a number of disjoint subsets. Here the union and find algorithms mainly used to combine two sets or two or more sets. Find algorithm is used to find the element in the subset. Here we observe that this is the given set. Here it consists of three elements 0, 1, 2. It forms a loop, all these vertices, it forms a loop. Here, here we here observe that generally we initialize parent node as minus 1. Here, 0 is a parent node, 1 is also parent node, 2 is also parent node. So, we represent that uh, that all three nodes with 0, uh, 0 with minus 1, 1 is with minus 1, 2 with minus 1. Now, process all these edges one by one, edge 0 to 1. Find the subsets in which vertices 0 and 1 are. Since there are different subsets, we take the union of them. For taking the union, either uh, either, either make node, node 0 as parent node or node 1 as parent node. 0, 1, 2. Here 1 is, a, 1 is made as parent node, parent node of 0. So here uh, here we observe that uh, here 1 is made of the parent of 0. So, 0 here, 0 parent node is 1. 1 is the parent node. So, represent with minus 1. 2 is another parent node. We represent this one is also with minus 1. Next, edge 1, 2, 2. Here 1 is, one is subset. 1 is the 1 subset 1. 2 is subset 2. So, take the union. Union of these two. Next, 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2 means here 2 is the 2 is made as parent node of 1. So 0 is parent 0 parent node is 1. 1 parent node is 2. 2, 2 parent node 2 is the parent node, so we represent with minus 1. Edge 0 to 2. 0 is subset 2 and 2 is also subset 2. Hence, including this edge format, uh, format forms a loop. It forms a, a loop or cyclic. Now 0, 1, 2. Now here we see that 1 is the parent of 0, 2 is parent of 1. So it forms a loop. 0, 1 and 2, all these forms a loop. So here 0 parent node is 1, 1 parent node is 2, 2 is itself parent node. So these three things it forms a loop. Now here first, first discuss about set. Set, set means it is a collection of uh, distinct elements. Here we see that s equal to 1, 2, 5, 10. This is a set, disjoint set. Disjoint set means suppose you take s1 equal to some 1, 7, 8, 9, s2 equal to 2, 5, 10. This s1 and s2, they don't have any common elements. So s1 intersection s2 equal to 5. This s1 and s2 are called as disjoint set. Disjoint set operations, mainly here in this uh, digital analysis of algorithm. So we have two different types of operations. One is uh, Union, another one is fine. Union is used to combine two or more sets. Find is used to such the element in the given subset. Now here, here in this example, here we see that S1 equal to 1789, S2 equal to 2510, S1 union S2, 
combine these two elements, you get uh, 1, 2, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is union. Fine. How to use fine integer? We see that. Here S1, the S1 set is 1, 7, 8, 9. S2 set is 2, 5, 10. And S3 equal to 3, 4, 6. Then find out 4. 4 element. 4 element lies in the set S3. So find out 4 equal to S3 set. So in that way, we we'll find the element in the given set. The set representation of the uh, given uh, given sets in terms of tree diagram. So S1 equal to 1, 7, 8, 9. S2 equal to 2, 5, 10. S3 equal to 3, 4, 6. In 1, 7, 8, 9, 1 is the parent node remaining our child, 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 child nodes. So we represent in this way. In the second set, 2 is the parent node remaining 5 and 10 are child nodes. We represent in this one. In the third set, 3 is the parent node remaining 4 and 6 are child of this one. So that one represented in the form of this one. Next, now union. So in general union, here the union means here general union, here we make one set as parent parent set of another set. Now here in first case, S1, S1, S1 parent node is 1. This 1 is the parent node of S2 set parent node. S2 set parent node. This is one way. Another way is 2 is parent node. That means S2, S2 set parent node is the parent node of S1 set parent node. So, 2 is parent node of 1. So, here first we represent this uh, 2 parent node and corresponding child and 2 is make as parent node of first set S1. So, we represent this uh, union. Uh, in this union, we make S1 is the parent node of S2 or S2 is the parent node of S1. In any one of these ways, we write it both are parent. Here, this is the representation of a point representation of my, my representing the sets. So, this is the S1, S1, S1 is pointing to S1 set, the, the, this S1 set, one is the parent node, remaining 7, 8, 9 are the children nodes of 1. This S2 is the parent node, in this S2, in this S2, 2 is the parent node, 5 and 10 are the child nodes. In S3, 3 is the parent node, 4 and 6 are the child nodes of these things. This is the array representation of these sets. So, here this is the set 1, S1. This is S2 representation, this is S3 representation. Already we discussed this one. Now here, here that uh, nodes and also P means pointers. So here that nodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now here 1, 1 is a parent node means we represent with minus 1. Similarly 2 is a parent node with minus 1. 3 is a parent node, we represent with minus 1. Next 4, 4 is child of 3. So we write that corresponding parent 3. 5 is child of 2, corresponding right, corresponding parent node 2. 6, 6 is, uh, 6 is child of 3, we write 3. 7, 7 parent node is 1. 8, 8 parent node is 1. 9, 9 parent node is 1. 10, 10 parent node is, so in this way, we represent all these sets in terms of array. Next here, algorithm for union operation. To perform the simple union, union of i, j function, take the inputs as the set of uh, roots i and j and make the parent parent of i as j or make the second uh, second cost as the parent of first cost. So, algorithm, simple union of i, j, p of i equal to j. So, i is the parent of j or another way is p of j equal to i. So, another way is p of j equal to we make j as parent node of i. So in any one of these ways, representing both ways are correct in simple union. Next, algorithm for find operation. The simple find algorithm, take the element and find the root node of i. It starts, the, it starts start at i until it reaches a node with parent value minus 1. Algorithm, simple find of i. While p of i greater than or equal to 0, p of i greater than or equal to 0 means that, uh, that uh, set consists of more than one element. i equal to p of i. i is the parent node of i. If that uh, i is the searching element, p of i is the parent node of i. So, uh, that searching element matches in the tree, we return that, that value i. Or in the tree or set, we return that element. If element is not found, we return, uh, we return, we return minus value minus 1. That means the element is not found in the 
set. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.